I want to get to the topic that I've been uh, wanting to speak about for a while that's been getting to me, and that's sex trafficking and child pornography. Yes, we're going there. It's a sad situation where every time a celebrity, a news, or anyone tries to bring up this conversation, something big happens where they cover this up. Um, in 85, Corey Haynes or Corey Feldman, one of the two, one of the Corys, uh, came up and said how Charlie Sheen and a couple other people uh, raped Corey Feldman and Corey Haynes and passed them around and other child uh, celebrities. And they also knew about child trafficking, sex trafficking with the children. They knew about this. When he tried to say it, they shut him down real quick. They didn't even give him no more movies. They tried to make it like he was a nobody and try to make sure he doesn't go nowhere. And then one of the Corys, I forgot which was one, killed himself with drugs, taking drugs and drugs because he tried to clear his mind of what happened to him. But nobody wanted to listen. Fast forward it to about 90, 92. Another child, they uh, raided another service coming from Russia to the United States. No one heard about it because right away they shut it down by adding other stuff. Here, Again, fast forward it to the 2020, the year of never again would I say 20. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They try to bring it out again. They even have someone that has recordings, videos of all these celebrities that were involved in these child pornography, tra sex trafficking, and child trafficking. They shut it down right away. They tried to shut it down quickly with the killer bees that were coming to the United States. They tried to bring it up. They tried to kill it again with aliens are coming. They tried to bring it up again. Oh, there's a meteor coming. COVID is here. No more people are dying of COVID, but let me show you all the numbers of the affected COVID so you can get more scared of the numbers of COVID so you can forget about what's really going on. This case is still going on about the celebrities and all this sex trafficking and all this. Nobody wants to talk about it. Do you know in Russia they have signals in their windows so people can know where it is that you can get a child? You didn't know about that. No, because they're not going to talk about it. You know in China in uh, Thailand, and I think in uh, Cambodia, uh, they have uh, basically say slavery type. You know, they take your kids, they bring them, they lie, we're gonna take you to America to bring you, a, uh, have you have the best you can have. It's a lie. They bring them here, and then they sell them to sex trafficking uh, people, and then they tell them, for you to get out of it, you got to pay a certain amount. Knowing they don't have money, they have to do what they got to do. Nah, the media is not going to talk about that. Why not? Because you know why? Because that is a money-making situation for the government and for everybody else. Yes, I said it. For the government and everybody else that is tied into this situation. Just like drugs. If you notice, probably people didn't notice, drugs... In the 80s and 90s, it was good. Then people started complaining about it. What are you going to do about the drugs? What are you going to... So what they did, they faked the funk like they grabbed this big drug corporation and seized one or two million dollars. But they never told you about the 10 million that came in to the United States. So they give you a little so you can shut the hell up. And then they're going to bring 10 million into the city. Then again... What is going on with the drugs? Oh, wow. Okay, let me bust one of the big drug cartels coming from Mexico to here. But did they tell you that he was almost out of the other uh, thing? He was not going to be the boss no more? So who's the boss? You didn't really get the boss now, right? So you got this fake boss to shut everybody up. 
And he still controls half of it in jail. But it shut everybody up that everybody said, okay, they're doing good for the drugs. But no one complained about the sex trafficking. No one is complaining about the child pornography. No one is complaining about that. That's why they're not doing nothing about it. Once we start complaining, guaranteed they will make one run and capture a good 20 of them. But the FBI, I give it up to the FBI, they are trying to break down the cyber uh, links and the dark web links. I went myself yesterday onto the dark web and put it like this. I felt like scrubbing my whole body with a brillo of all. And right now, like I'm getting emotional right now just thinking of those photos of those little girls. We need to slow it down. We need to... Let people know, listen, I don't care how many people are affected by COVID if the numbers of death is not matching. You already lied. Stop blocking what is really going on. This child pornography stuff is going on to this day in broad daylight, and you guys don't even see it. That's how, how hard it is that they're covering this up. You're not even noticing it. The lady came out and said, I got tapes of all these celebrities that are an end to it. Everybody said, oh, wow. Kovic got 20,000. Oh, yo, you heard about Kovic? Like, now they forgot what the heck the news just said about all these celebrities. I told my wife that, and she was like, what are you talking about? She didn't even know because in the news, it's flooded with everything else. You know, it's like anything good in the news, they'll say real quick. Oh, and this guy gave a rose to the uh, lady. And back to Kovic, because they don't want you to know what they don't want you to know. You understand? So, yeah, Yaisi, you are correct. And uh, shout out to Yaisi as well. Um, this needs to stop. Like I said, I went on the dark web, and they had young girls there. Now, some of these girls, this is why I tell a lot of people, stop dressing your little girls like women. 13, 14 year old looking like a body at a 20 or 30 years old, you need to cover those things up. If you go on the dark web, you're going to change your mind on how you dress your kids. Because these little girls with bodies had bikinis and everything, and they were saying, where can you get them at? You want this one? We have matching sisters. We have this. We have that. Are you into blondes, boys? That. On the dark web, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and it's sad. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very sad how these youngsters don't know anything and their parents and their family just gives them up. Or they taken. You think all these people that are reported missing, you, are, you think aliens took them? You think they jumped into the water and they didn't come back? Think about it. How you think they get these people for sex trafficking? They kidnapped them. And if you notice, they don't go hard on some of these kidnappings. The only ones that they go hard on are the ones that are proven fact that someone that's not in the sex trafficking took your child. If you tell... My wife will come right now and say, hey, Charles Aloma stole my son. Woo! They'll go all hard looking for Charles Aloma. Woo! Woo! Because Charles Aloma has nothing to do with the sex trafficking. But if get, guaranteed if I was into the sex trafficking, I was one of the big bosses, and she says, Charles Aloma took my son, you would not hear it in the news. You would not see no, no alert, no amber alert, no nothing. Okay, ma'am, when was the last time you seen him? We'll try to figure it out. We'll look for him. And until now, they will never find me, and I'll be in their house. You understand what I mean? So if you guys are going to be posting up anything or talking about let's make this viral, let's make this video viral, or let's make that post that I put about child um, sex trafficking viral, that's what you need to make viral. Not no COVID numbers that are high, but the deaths are very, very low. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's not real before anybody jumps in. I'm just saying right now, don't let them cover your your stuff up. And matter of fact, I'm not saying it's a, a, a thing, but they just had that bombing uh, that just went off, right? 
I forgot what it was. Uh, Bernil, Bernil, something like that. There was a big Banan, right? No, no, it started with a B. Beirut? Yeah. Boom, blow up. Why is it that something, I'm not saying it's conspiracy, but to me, I don't like coincidence. Something like that blew up, killed a couple people right when she was going to give her conference. I'll wait. Coincidence? Think about it. Every time they're trying to break down the sex trafficking, something happens. Conspiracy, maybe. Coincidence, maybe. It's just too many times. So it is sad. And right now, if you don't believe me, you can type in TV slash entertainment, I think, on the search. And there's a company that's called TV slash entertainment, but they're not TV and entertainment. You see, when you, when you put that up on your, your page, they're showing little kids where you can get them. But the FBI cuts off a head, another one grows. It's hard for them, especially when it's not known. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I just, like, some of those things really get to me when I see it. You know what I'm saying? And if you have a daughter or a son and they are missing, in this world, a lot of people will say, oh, my God, did they kill them? Is they dead? In my mind, seeing the things that I've seen through my course of my career, uh, working as a criminal analyst and seeing crimes and all that, the first thing in my mind is not that. The first thing in my mind when a kid is kidnapped, wow, did they abuse them? Did they sexually abuse them? Did they sell them? Because if you know the stories that I know, what um, being in the, the law field, reason, one of the reasons why I left, it will be something to turn your eyes completely around. Uh, so you definitely need to realize that this is out there. So I don't know how many minutes we have left, but uh, I didn't want to bum you guys out with. Uh, what's that? Okay, well, yeah, we got 15 minutes. So like I said, I didn't really want to bum you guys out with that, but I thought that we needed to speak about this situation. Just because I see a lot of other shows want to do what I do, so hopefully they do this. They speak about this. So, hey, I, I'm telling the truth. I'm just telling the truth. Because there are shows out there. But there's only one LDM show. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, please. Not even the media hardly talks about it. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them... Oh, I heard the bomb. I heard the bomb. Shot fired, mostly. Shots fired! Shots fired! Ah, uh, excuse me. Woo, that is cold. And then I got the AC blowing right on me. But there are symbols that people don't know. Uh, I, I found out the Red Shoe uh, Club. There's a bunch of politicians and everything that wear red shoes. Uh, red bandanas, red ties, things like that. Well, the red tie Trump wears, but he wears it for Bring Back America are great again. That's his thing. But maybe he did or maybe he didn't realize that that symbols something else towards the sex trafficking. The red shoes are sex trafficking. Those are the ones that buy and sell. So there are little symbols and I'm trying to, as I'm investigating and looking into the dark web and everything, I don't want to be in the dark web too long because I don't want nobody tracking me and thinking I'm one of them and then come, you know, FBI come bumming rushing in my house. <laughs> you know, so I don't want to I don't want to be all, you know, too much in the dark web, but uh, I've been finding out little things here and there what you need to do if you want a child 
uh, and they can even deliver it, so-called foster child to your house. That's how sad it is. And that's how real it is. So if you are blind to it, then maybe I'm going to use one of those lines that they be using on Facebook. Then you are the cause of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't like my post, then maybe it's because you're the ones that are doing it. One of those posts. But here, if you want to be blind to it, then you're one of the reasons why the media doesn't want to talk about it. You understand? You're the one the reason why the government doesn't want to make a task force for it. The FBI has one, but they have one for the computer, for the internet. And they're trying, they got undercovers. I'm not saying they might have undercovers and stuff like that, but you don't hear anybody talk about task force. You don't hear nobody got busted. Plain in sight. Right now, she's talking about I got videos, I got proof, I got this. You don't hear the media talking about it so much. Nah. You don't. So, hey, uh, shout outs to Dell. He's uh, online as well. Uh, Yaisi, online. So, we are speaking again about the hardship of sex trafficking kids. And child pornography. It has to go. With that said, there are so many people out here. I don't know what it is in the milk or is it in the food. But some of these girls that are 13 or 14 year old, me and my wife be like, nah, she ain't 13. Look at that body. And then when she speaks about something, like a cartoon or something, we be like, yeah, she's 13. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So watch. Because it's going to get, if they keep covering this up, it's going to get worse. And it's worse in countries that don't have the uh, ability, money, or power to stop them, such as Cambodians, China, Japan. Not too much Japan, but uh, Thailand. Uh, and I, I, I'm, I probably pretty much, I don't know, but probably the Philippines too. I'm not sure. Uh, Africa. Um, it's all, yeah, yeah, and JoJo. <laughs> Lucy said hi, and JoJo, yes. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just reading some of the comments. Uh, it is sad where these countries do not have the power or the manpower, put it like that, to do some of them. Some of them, like in Mexico, probably won't even do it because they make money from it. S same way they don't really want to break down the, the drug cartel in Mexico because they make money from it. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? So, by myself, I'm going to tell you, I can try to do my homework and try to give you guys hints of what's going on. But by myself, I can't do nothing. What are they going to do? They're going to shut me down as quick as they. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people that keep putting it on their posts... I think one day they will decide to make it big and make it known. So, who knows? Maybe if one of the kids are watching, there is hope. And hopefully you'll find it. And hopefully they'll find you. Um, and they'll stop all this. Because uh, child trafficking, I don't know what do you find attractive in doing a little kid. You're sick and if anybody out there says it is great and these face, Facebook pages that are coming out, I curse you out all the time I see it. If you don't like it, too bad. Because if you are sick enough to think that a child can give you anything more sexual or even entertaining then an adult or somebody, you're the sickest person i ever seen. And I'm sorry to say it like that, but you are. You just made the anger come out of me. You know? You're just sick, plain and simple. Yeah, I said hello to Dale. I'm just saying, sick, sick, sick. Is it mentally? I don't know. I, I, I can't say it's a mentally thing. It could be a preference. 
I don't know. But honestly, men are sexual beings. You know what I'm saying? And this has been going on for ages. So don't think that it just started. Watch your history. Look at some of your photos from history. You see a lot of men with young girls, with the little kids and stuff like that, hugging. I do it for the kids. No, you're doing the kids. A big difference. You're not doing it for the kids. You know? But it has been going around for ages. So please, pay attention. Watch your kids. Make sure you know what is going on. Because some of the kids that has been lured into this world is because they feel like they don't have nothing in the world they're in now. So predators know this, and they'll go on the Internet and try to get them. And then say, leave your family. I can give you a better life. And then they leave. So watch it, okay? Pay attention because it's only going to get worse. Now that it's all out in the open and that celebrities has been doing it, now they're going to try to shut everybody up. It's the same as that, uh, I forgot what her name was, back in the 90s, I think it was, that she went to court and said everybody that was buying hookers from her. I forgot her name. They even made a movie about it. All the celebrities were buying hookers from her. She was the biggest madam in the world. They tried to shut her down. She said, oh, no, I'm taking y'all down with me. And she did. She took half of them down with her. So, you know, make sure that you understand. And uh, shout out to Ruben. He's watching as well. So, uh, you know. Just make sure you watch your kids, um, especially the age of under 13. Uh, I, I found out by looking at the uh, dark web yesterday. And for you guys that don't understand what the dark web is, the dark web is basically like beta and data. It's totally different. They can go deep in the web. And this is why I say web, not internet. Internet, you guys can go. The web, you need a certain code. You need certain ways how to go in. You need to be somewhat like a hacker or something like that, which I'm not saying or denying I was, but, <laughs> right? I would not <laughs> deny it or confirm that I used to be a hacker. But uh, the deep, dark web, you can find anything. I can find anything. So... When I found these things, they were from 7 to 13-year-old boys and girls being sold. So after that, they just be sold like prostitutes or, or everything else. But sex trafficking has to stop. So can we stop it? I Honestly, opinion, I don't think so because there's too many hands involved. And too much power involved is just like drugs. You can say, can we stop the drugs? No, we can slow it down by eliminating the small fry, but we're not going to slow it down because they don't want to eliminate the big head. Because you can take out as much of the tail. It's going to keep on growing. So, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to use my platform today to give you guys some information about sex trafficking and child pornography. Uh, let's make sure people understand this is nothing to play with. It's not only hurting the child mentally, physically. Uh, it gives them no life. And for a child to grow up not even having the opportunity to make their own mistakes uh, is hard just to swallow. It's just hard to think about it right now. Like, I think about it and I, and I can't understand it. So... All right? But uh, my name is Charles Aloman. This is the LDM Show. Uh, remember, dress the way you want to be respected. Do not let no one degrade you. And be careful with who you speak to and be careful for these kids. So if you see a kid outside and you're thinking they're feeling uncomfortable with a man or a woman and you're not too sure if they are their, their parents or not, they might not be. So don't be afraid to ask questions. We need to protect our kids. And I say our kids because there's no one else going to do it but us. So pay attention, open your eyes, open your ears, and be a good citizen.
Well, check you guys out. Remember, be safe, be careful out there, and always respect yourself. This is Charles Aloma, and this is the LDM Show, and we'll see you next week.